bless America. Welcome everybody to Nickel City X-Wing. My name is Greg and we have got two X-Wing 2.5 matches for you tonight. The first one is your classic Rebel vs. Rebel. Y'all we don't care. You gotta hear it too. Everyone gets to hear it. This is a classic Rebel vs. Rebel matchup. Cold Hard Facts vs. Catherine. Betting is open. Magic the Mentoring. Hello. How are you? Hope you are well. It's a ghost. Colfax is running a Phoenix Squadron inspired rebel list. This is salvage mission, by the way. If that impacts your betting, this is going to be a salvage mission scenario. Got Harrison Dula in the A-Wing with Swarm Tactics, Hopeful, Fire Control System, and Ion Missiles, and of course a hull upgrade. Kanan Jaris in the VCX with Compassion, Fire Control System, a Dorsal Turret, Bo-Katan Kreese, Chopper, Ezra and the Ghost title, Sabine Wren in the Rebel Tie with Ion Missiles and Mandalorian Optics, and Zeborelios in the Sheathapede with Marg Sable Closure, Hondo Naka, R4, and Phantom. How different is 2.5 from 1.0? Would it be a lot to get back into it? Yikes. So we're just skipping over 2.0 entirely. All right. It's different. It's very, it's very different. But I'll say this. I feel like they're incorporating more stuff from 1.0 all the time. Like a lot of these newer cards are kind of based off 1.0 cards. Like the Victor Hell's ability in the Rogue Class Starfighter. That's based off a, a 1.0 pilot. Uh, I was listening to Planning Phase Syndicate. They said that. Yeah, the fundamental core of the game is the same. Setting details, dials, like dice are the same. Uh, in 2.5 now, there are objective points. The, the pricing is a lot different. I don't think... I think pricing in 1.0 was... 100 right and then 2.0 took it to 200 and now it's 20 it's you know there's there's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of stuff a lot of gosh i'm trying not to turn you off because i want more people to play the game but it's gonna be a it's gonna be a bit to get into it like you're gonna have to learn a bunch of new stuff i i can't lie to you I want to. I want to lie and tell you it's going to be a breeze. But there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff that's different now. It's worth it though, right? It's still worth it. Looks like Zeb is going to start docs. Let's go over Catherine's list. She's running some Y-Wings and Shara. Nora Wexley with Crack Shot, Ion Cannon Turret, Ion Torpedoes, and Proximity Mines. Dutch Vander with an Ion Cannon Turret, Ion Missiles and Cluster Mines. Horton Salm with Ion Cannon Turret, Ion Torpedoes and Cluster Mines. Shara Bay with Outmaneuver. And Yvonne Verlaine with an Ion Cannon Turret, Ion Torpedoes and Proximity Mines. So in Feb, this is Yellow Jacket Pin. So in Feb, I played in an Orlando event with someone who played 1.0 but was new to 2.5. I played another event two weeks ago with that same dude Came in 5th out of 16. It's definitely doable. Yeah. I don't think anything is so weird as that you can't adjust to it after a little bit. I think that's fair. Even if you're not a huge fan of the change in 2.5, I would say that it's not hard to get used to the change. Whether you like, like, irregardless of whether you like it or not. 
it's not like the adjustment to it is, you know, you don't have to do any complex math. Now, I realize I missed a chance for a great joke here. So magic. As a as a 1.0 player, you skip 2.0, and that that means you skipped the the time period where you were asked to create an obfuscated advantage. So that's like in your benefit. Catherine back to Ion Cannon Wildings is proof that nature is healing. Oh my gosh, that's funny. It's really good. The ions are definitely not going to be great for getting crits and making your opponent drop. That is true. Uh, control is another aspect of the game, though. Uh, but I agree. Getting the crits, not great. Um, I think your kind of hope is to... Like Sabine, right? You only need to iron her three times. You need three hits to, like, really go through. That's about it, right? Velvet Buddha, have a good night. Hey, Desi, thank you so much. Desi, remember, check for traps before you enter... Not Desi. Velvet, remember to check for traps. Yeah, ions into bombs is what I want. Yeah, exactly. Good, yeah, that's exactly it. Ions into bombs. Uh, I see what Char is doing, right? So Char wants to get that bottom objective. But really what Shara wants to do is be close to Dutch. Last but not least to get placed on the board is Hera Sindula. Yet. Yeah. During your activation, you can't. It can't be coordinated. You can't do it out of your action phase or yeah, your activation. <clears throat> Hera definitely doesn't want to run into a bunch of. I think it's gonna take her three turns to get over there. So if you if you two bank, grab boost. I think that puts the debris in such a spot that you have to kind of avoid. So I think it I think it'll be like three or three or almost four turns depending on how fast these Y wings go. They do have to move relatively quickly just to secure that second cargo there. I'm a little surprised Hera actually isn't starting towards the middle uh, to grab that center thing. What's what's the question? You can't uh, be coordinated. You can't slam. You can't do advanced maneuvers.
literally the only thing you have to worry about on your side is you can't do an advanced maneuver. If you do an advanced maneuver, you do a two forward wipe. Sure, Ghost with Ezra is going to go through Y Wings fast. But here's the thing Y Wings don't really get stressed all that much, right? Doesn't Ezra require the ship to be stressed to do the bonus attack? Am I wrong in that? Ezra gets rerolls of his carrier stress. Well, how is the VCX going to get stressed? Is there a good way to stress the carrier? No red actions. Nothing that's going to add a red action. The only real way is doing an advanced maneuver, but if you're carrying a thing, you can't do an advanced maneuver. After you perform primary attack, you may spend a force to perform a bonus attack from a thing you've not attacked with. If you do and you are stressed, oh, you get a reroll. Okay. Okay. All right. That makes sense. The scenario is a salvage mission. End of round. So during cleanup, you can choose to jettison. So before you get the points. Turn one. This is this is extended, but I do believe both these lists fit into standard. Like like Pim just said. Yeah, rolling road. Cold hard facts gets first player. Turn one. Here we go. Almost a half hour into the night. It's gonna be a late one for us tonight. That's fine. So comm shuttle allows a coordinate before Kanan activates, which is nice. Of course, if you're carrying a thing, that doesn't help you at all. Vaughn, three forward. Gonna focus. Sabine. Going to claim. Catherine does indeed love Y Wings. Sure. And I'm going to coordinate her. Okay, 
of focuses. In one banks. And we'll pick up the objective. I get not being able to coordinate the pickup, but not being able to coordinate them at all is a myth. I agree with I agree with that a lot, actually. I like not being able to coordinate scenario actions, 100 percent cool. I think that's smart. Shot with the three hard will claim. that into a boost. I just wish I got the logic of it more. Very understandable position there. Era takes the evade. Is gonna be the round two. Two and one. After round one. I just wish I got the logic of it. Yeah, I agree with you. I guess they just want force pilots to have double modded defense. Uh, so I was thinking about this last night. And I was like, yeah, a force user should be great, right? Because they have the force and that's a huge advantage. But as far as like a game goes, or like even, even if you want to tie it to flavor, right? Like in universe flavor, there were 10,000 Jedi in a galaxy spanning war there weren't jedi in every single fight and when there were it wasn't it wasn't like a bunch of jedi you know it was like one jedi so you need to price it so that the clones or the the republic actually reflects what was happening in the in the clone wars which is a bunch of clones and you know one jedi general no jedi generals they need to be super expensive for what they are they said paladin hello if you're gonna if you're gonna make the force that good which you know it is force is really good then the the prices should reflect that how goes it today was a doozy at work but we're we're good so one of the uh one of my like I have I designed a website for work that helps people do do shit a little faster, processing refunds and stuff. Um, and one of the websites it goes through changed their login process, which made me go through like twenty thousand lines of code to do a fix for the login. Sucked. Sveen. gonna boost before activation and your banks. Takes the focus. Kanan is going to go ahead and coordinate into Hera. Chach, what's up? Kanan is just going to go ahead and yeet himself. Taking a shield. Still gets an action, though, for, you know, because it's not over the asteroid. Kanan cleared the obstacle, so Kanan will get an action still. 
I think you probably reinforce. Yeah. Reinforce tokens out there. Take the focus for Yvonne. Horton. Horton's going to go ahead and claim. Doing a three bank as well. Turning in. Interesting. Give me a barrel right. I imagine maybe a boost as well. There's a boost. Nora, the three right. Fitting in. Go for a lock. Won't be able to hit anything. Era, three hard. You're gonna focus. Should get to the shots. Dutch no shot. Horton does get a shot. Here we go. 2v1. With the reinforce, so two hits is a guaranteed one damage. And that is a guaranteed nothing. Shot here. This is Yvonne. No. Go to be one again. Lens the focus, and it's evaded. Two to two now. Four to three is our score as we enter turn three.
Colfax has a choice here. I assume there's going to be a turn in. He could be serving Kanan up. Get your bets in now, because I think probably that time. That's currently seven to seven with five hundred or five thousand five hundred fifty nickels on the line. Pancakes are ready. Let the bloodshed begin. I do love pancakes. I really just can't imagine Kanan not turning in here. Pick a Y wing, mark them for elimination. Catherine gets the initiative. No systems. Yvonne Verlaine. Three bank. Remember, force can be used at range zero. about grabbing it. Just gonna focus. Speed will take the boost and one hard. Take the focus. Cannon gonna coordinate. Gonna give Hera a barrel roll. One hard for Kanan, which makes him stress. It's gonna take a shield to chop her in action, which is the reinforce. Johnny Ray, what's up?
Horton one forward. Thank you. You're just getting a lot of compliments today. What's up? Imagine Char is going to barrel roll here. Barrel roll left. Lower up three four. And gonna take a focus. Era two banking. Your focus might want it, the target lock there so you can pass it to Kanan. Because I mean, Kanan's gonna get an absolute banger off here. Taking him back, he's going to do the lock now. Has everybody except. I'm going to put it into Yvonne. Lock anyone but Nora, really. Dutch, you only get two shots on, so I think either Yvonne or Horton is the play. All right, going to Horton. Contemplating a boost. You ever finished mid finished it, I just don't have a use for it. Hera gets the first shot. Use Yvonne's ability on to Horton to give Horton two dice. Harold's gonna bump Cannon up to I6 with Storm Tactics. Ion Missile into Horton from Hera. Crit on a fire control system. Just one. And it's evaded. Kanan. Here's the big swing. Five dice into Horton. Oh. Natties. Horton. Natties himself. Alright, the 
fours go now. Or, sorry, the fives. Nora. Double modified, focus locked. Who needs it? So Kanan, a shield. Shield and two ions into Kanan. Two rerolls. Needs one more hit to guarantee, or two more hits to guarantee the ion. One damage through. And it's not a crit because it's the ion cannon. Doesn't have the ion shot. So Horton, just a primary shot range, one into Kanan. Focusing for three. And it takes two. And Shara. Sorry, Ivan now. Ion Cannon into Kanan. Trying real hard to get this extra Ion Cannon in. Nothing. Kanan is not Ion. And we go to Sabine. So the, we checked this earlier and the salvage mission rules say that if a ship is placed into reserves, it drops the crate. So if, if it were to dock with a crate, it would have to drop the crate. Arrow can't pass the target lock. That's it. Two more points. Six to five at the end of three. This is a close game though. Kanan suffering that big blow.
Yep, this is salvage mission. Six to five, Gantor turn four, Hanan. I mean, not on life support, but not feeling groovy. Stressed, two ions. Horton, you know, as far as a wide wing goes, pretty healthy. Razor Crest will be in Friday. And let's go. I mean, it's a cool ship. I like the way it looks. I know people, some people were complaining about the paint job, but I kind of like it. Betting open. Was anyone else like legit, legit surprised when the Razor Crest blew up? They don't really do that to ships. Like, big ships blow up, small ships blow up, but those medium ships, they never blow up. The only medium ship we've ever seen blown up is the Jedi Counselor Cruiser in episode one. System phase, we're gonna get a Mandalorian optics charge spend here. Yeah, I was pretty shocked they blew up the Razor Crest. Just like the merchandising alone I was shocked by. I was like, oh no. Hundred percent agree, Frix. Hundred percent. It's a great point. It does make the Mandalorian stand out. Hundred percent. But Star Wars usually isn't one to throw merch into the fire. Can gonna get rid of can take a red focus, but will not. Yeah, I agree with you. His replacement ship sucks. Oh no, Sabine. Never punished? Yet. Yeah. Yeah, but his new ship isn't cool. With 
Vaughn, the three bank, and it gets through everything. I mean, hot take, but his new ship sucks. Just straight up. It's not good. Oh, Yvonne is in perfect bombing position. Focusing, probably gonna get some help from Dutch coming. Dutch one bank. Dutch gonna grab those target locks. On to Sabine. Which will give Shara the lock. I think the plan here is if you take out Sabine this round, drop the prox on Kanan. That's it. His new ship is actually pretty sweet. It's a space hot rod. I think you get like a bigger ship to dock into. I'd be fine with that, but for a bounty hunter, that ship has absolutely no place to put bounties. It's not, I should, I should rephrase. It's not that the ship sucks. It's that it, it doesn't make any sense. Red focus there for uh, Horton. Nora. One bank. That's why they added the tow mechanic and salvage mission. Oh my god, the synergy. I think this is horrible. Hera can take a red focus here because the template would have bumped into Horton, not Kanan. But this is terrible position for Colfax. I think this is pretty uh, bad. You're not sure he's still going to be a bounty hunter. That is an interesting point. What if he doesn't do bounty hunting anymore? It's not now. It's end of turn. the shot into Horton. Fire control. Number two. One going in to Horton. <clears throat> Sabine, Horton, range one.
Tiny lock. Just one. Only one damage to Horton there. Now the wrath comes. Secondary weapons are range zero, so primary only. Go into. I think you just focus on Sabine. Focus on Sabine, let the prox mines deal all your damage to Kanan. Zero into cannon is the call. For a crit. That means cannon will have to drop. And it's a direct hit. So you get the two for one and the jettison. Now the game's going to start to snowball, I think. Maneuver Sabine. Focus with a target lock. Kanan will reduce that by one. So two dice. 2v2 two two here. Jara can spend the lock. As the eyeball focusing for three. And that's just a dead Sabine. And that is the second cargo for Colfax down. And here's the snowball we just started talking about. and Horton still get to shoot. No, you guys are right. It's not. One hit into Kanan. Kanan down to five. Dutch going range one. Ion Cannon into Kanan. One damage, and now Kanan is ionized. <laughs> so no K turn like he probably wanted. Kanan gets a shot now. Four dice into Horton. Just for one. Going to spend the force. Native ability makes it two. 
Horton down to three. And Yvonne, no shot. So Catherine picks up two more. No points for Colfax there. 10 to 6 as we enter turn 5. We know we're getting the prox drop. Could be a bad, bad time. I don't know if it counts as a come from behind victory, but it definitely does <clears throat> count as a victory when you are behind in turn three. She's only behind by a point. It wasn't like some dramatic comeback or anything, but it does count against the turn three. I was just thinking about that. quite the parking lot there. Yeah. It's not going to get any better, too, with all the ions happening. I just, I don't think I see a, a path to victory for Colfax here, especially after this prox gets dropped. Catherine will likely get to choose if she wants the prox to hit Kanan or... And two die. Just one. Seb's getting deployed. I 
and get a Mark Sable closure. On one bank, can pick up the objective. It's going to be a one forward vote. Four parking lot. <laughs> Shara probably doesn't hate her positioning. Can't really barrel roll. Carbonite minifigs. Oh, that's cool. Post Weston. Post some pictures when they come out. Dutch one forward. All Dutch got to do. Obviously, you can party lock. I'm gonna throw it on to Kanan and gonna give Horton the other lock. Or bumps into her own ship, so Nora will have to roll. Never punished. Hera takes the bump, but does it fast enough so that she hits Horton, not Kanan. Important difference there. <clears throat> Start of activation here. 
Putting Zeb to I6. Honestly, I think I go into Horton here and try and get Horton off the board between Zeb and Hera. Three damage, so it's at least possible. Hit crit. Beautiful. And that's going to force a drop as well. Let's see what that crit is. Stunned. one with the target lock into Horton needs two hits to guarantee the kill. And this also stops like a cluster mine dropping on friggin' Kaden. You gotta... No! No! Why would you? He's going into Nora! Hit crit crit! Oh no! No! Oh you better... You better hope... Nora takes a shield. Nora isn't carrying anything, so it doesn't make her drop. That would have been it. That would have been it for Horton. Oh. You would have stopped the shot on Kanan. You would have stopped everything next turn. Why? Why? Kanan gets ionized. You're stuck. Ion Cannon into Kanan. Kanan does have the dorsal arc on Horton. But it also means that Horton gets to shoot. Three. Nor does have a lock. And that's an ionized Kanan who can't flip around yet again. Down to three. Horton just going to go into Kanan because that's the only shot from the ion. Range one. And this is just to get damage in. Just go ahead. There's no point in spending the lock there. Just take the one damage. Dutch now. He just range one here. Range one into Kanan. And then let all your bomb drops next turn go ahead and take out Hera. Has a little, oh, no, has a one. Again, you don't need to reroll. Kanan down to one. And Charbay gonna get this range one banger into Zeb. So, no, no, nothing. And this is an ion cannon shot for a kill. Just needs a hit. Gets it. There's nine points. So, Catherine wins at the end of this turn. Dorsal into Horton. Range one does have Hera's lock and force.
Gordon does evade. Takes one. And bo -Katan will activate, removing the red from both Zeb and... And then three gained from Catherine here. So 22-10 is our final score. Catherine wins. Pay out the right side. What'd you guys learn? You never bet against Catherine, chat. We'll be right back. Oh, no. We're not going to be right back. We got to do giveaways. Hey, thanks for playing, guys. Appreciate it. Gotta, I'm trying to get to the giveaway section. Come on, Greg. You can do it. It's a separate web page, and for some reason, I can never remember it. Me6, chatting. 